Sara, mi si stanno drizzando le piume. Ciao. So this is a song uh, for Miss Diane, one of my Patreons, and it happened to be her birthday, uh, the day before my mum's birthday actually, um, a fellow Pisces. So uh, again, a very happy um, but belated birthday to you. Hope you're still enjoying your holly bobs. Um, so I did say that as an extra special treat that I would do a reaction for her um, and her choice was for Sonia Mosca. Now we saw Sonia Mosca, which is also another uh, Diane uh, uh, recommendation, uh, when she was singing um, Stand Up, Stand Up For Love, that was it, Stand Up For Love. Um, and she did a cracking job of that. So um, this is I Love The Lord. I'm already excited because she's got some, Sonia's got some chaps. She got some chaps. So let's see what Guan. Just one second. Okay. I love the, the Lord. He heard my cry. Guarda, mi si stanno drizzando le piume. Ma è meravigliosa! Mi hai sconvolto la tachicardia, sei una cosa pazzesca, allora... Michelle, Michelle! Non lo fare, aspetta! Ti prego! Aspetta, devo... Cristiano, no, si... no, silenzio! Devo dire, no, devo dire una cosa, ti Pum. prego! Io spero aspetta. che ci sia qualche discografico! Aspetta! Ci... No! Sì! Aspetti un secondo! Ma dammi secondo. la parola però, ti, ti prego Ti dico perché, dopo. vedrai perché! 
Vediamo quanti punti hai preso. Wow! I am so incredibly impressed by that. Like, my, my, I literally, my cheeks actually hurt. I just, I didn't expect, like, I knew she was going to be good. Yeah, I didn't know she was going to be good because also she sang Stand Up For Love and she was really, again, great. Like, it, it, but this was, to me, a level far and above Stand Up For Love. Like, th th this, it, this was technically, like, what I feel anyway was was a more difficult song to sing because there were so many tender moments as well as the powerhouse moments and scalability. Like it was, you know, she built on the song and, and again and again, just like the last one in Alabaster Box, it's just, it sounded authentic. It didn't sound to me like she was trying to be Whitney. I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, there's obviously there's, there's the, the way Whitney sung it. Like there's definitely going to be you know, similarities to that. But I kind of felt as though that she was still in her own lane with it with some of the runs that she was doing and um and again her tone and her time, that you know, she didn't rush anything. Um, you know, her falsetto and head notes were just Oh my gosh, I, I I'm I'm so, die. Die. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sonia Muska. I, I think I need to take it a little bit more seriously um, from the last one. That was amazing. That was stand up amazing. No wonder she got 100. Absolutely incredible. Um, Insensional, if you will. <laughs> um, oh, thanks so much for that recommendation, Di. I hope you guys enjoyed that. What did you think of, of her version and her interpretation of this? Um, uh, it's gonna make, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go and play some Whitney now. I'm going to have to go and play it because I just... It was so good that I'm like, did I just hear what I've just heard? And, you know, I know that she's not Whitney and she's not trying to be Whitney, but if, even in her own vein, that was great. Like, I don't think you could listen to that and be like, that wasn't an a, a stellar performance that was amazing um but yeah if you did enjoy this and do drop me a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate that and i do have a patreon as well so if you do want to go over there and show me some love <laughs> uh, i'll be really really grateful for that so yeah thanks ever so much and uh, hope to see you on the next one <laughs>